What's up, everybody? John Hammond here. Another video, Python Challenge, level 23. So uh, here we are, uh, level 23 of the Python Challenge. Uh, the URL is now just bonus.html that we got after uh, the last video, level 22. And um, there's nothing really here, just a picture again. So let's check out the HTML source code. I control U, you can just right click to view the source or whatever. So I see there are a couple HTML comments here. Um, to do, do you owe someone an apology? Now it is a good time to tell him that you are sorry. Please show good manners, although it has nothing to do. <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> okay, I don't know. Um, title is, what is this module? Is it, do I have to track down some kind of Python module based off of this picture? <laughs> Just kind of a, a cow, a bull, I think here, whatever this is. Uh, what is this module? It can't find it. This is an undocumented module. What is it looking for? Like it, the cow is looking for it? Why is the cow looking... What is this? Vagers Okay, that's clearly not English. That's probably not a real thing right here. What is this? Is this a uh, some kind of cipher or something? Like, looks like, like this could very well just be like a Caesar cipher. This could just be like a raw thirteen thing. So if you don't know what a Caesar cipher is, I can totally Google that for you. But it's just like a cipher, quote unquote, that has shifted um, a letter pos letter's position in the alphabet to become something else. So, it's super duper common in um, like easy kind of baby capture the flag stuff. Like the first notion of cryptography is a Caesar cipher. That they know that. So you can do it in Python really easily if you just have a string here, and that you can do decode dot decode for a function for a string, and you can say rot thirteen in the. Oh, okay, it's uh. It'll, it'll decode it for us, and in this case it says, in the face of what? That's actual English, so I'll take that. I don't want to print it, my bad. Dot decode. Rot 13. And it just gives it, okay, the U is in there. But, yeah, in the face of what? Uh, I don't know what that means. In the face of this thing? Is it just looking, because it's like what it's looking at, and, the, and its face is grass? Python grass module? <laughs> like, I don't know. What the heck? GIS. Hey, that's cool stuff. Holy cow. Okay. That's a big thing. I don't know what that is. Python cow. Oh, nope. Giant snake eats cow. Not what I want. Module. Interrupting cow. <laughs> cow bull. Cow pie. Oh. It's like cow say. That's a game, I think. I don't know. Bull. I don't know. Is it something to do with this to do note? It's something about an apology? What is this module? It can't find it. This is an undocumented module. Is there some kind of like play on words here that I'm missing? This is kind of like. Is it supposed to be like literal or something? Python this module? This module? No. Import this in the Zen of Python? What? Oh, is this? This? The this module? What the heck? Is that literally a thing? Do I still have that? Yeah. Let's open a new one. Import. Whoa. <laughs> Import this? Whoa! <laughs> The Zen of Python by Tim Peters. Beautiful is better than ugly. Close to blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm just reading this. In the face of... I feel like that's the other hint we got to keep in mind. It's this other thing that was rotated in the hint of... In the face of... Error should never pass silently. Unless explicitly stated in the face... Oh, hey! In the face of... Ambiguity? Is that it? In the face of ambiguity? Is ambiguity the word that we need? That seems pretty likely. Yes. Yes! Okay! Sweet! That was not too difficult. That was just kind of hunting around, do a little, solving a little riddle. Not really a whole lot of code in that, other than an interesting Python tidbit. So, cool. Okay, simple. Uh, didn't write a whole lot of code, but 
solve the small little Python challenge riddle, I, I guess. The, this module is a hidden module, and looks like it's just the philosophy of Python. But, sweet. Alright, just jumped into level 24. I mean, that was pretty neat. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that one. Kind of kind of simple and easy. But uh, I'm sure it'll get pretty crazy on this thing. I have no idea what to... <laughs> this is really scary. I don't know if we're going to be writing like some A-star module or, or A-star algorithm. But solve this maze. Good lord. Alright. Well, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you uh, like this video, please leave a like. A little... Press the button there. Uh, maybe leave a comment, tell me what you think, and if you're feeling in the mood for it, subscribe. I'd be super grateful. Super duper helps me, uh, and I would really appreciate it. So thank you guys for watching and enjoying these. I'll see you in a later video.